alive and alert on the north side of the dirt. It's your man, D Real. Coming at you with another Be Real with D Real, where edutainment is what I do. Now, before we get off into what we're going to get off into, yeah, I'm going to need y'all to do what you always do for me. Comment, like, subscribe, and share to the Be Real with D Real page so that when new material comes out, you get first crack at it. If you're digging, what a brother's shoveling, put some dirt in my bucket, comment, like, subscribe, and share to the Be Real with D Real page. Let's get to it. Okay, y'all all had y'all take on it. So I'm going to give you mine. Black Panther Star Wars, Chadwick Boseman's absence will disappoint fans. Really, Daniel. Um, let's see what we're dealing with. Black Panther star Daniel Kaluuya revealed his concern that the absence of the late Chadwick Boseman from Black Panther Wakanda forever may disappoint fans. Kaluuya discussed this worry while speaking to the Hollywood Reporter, noting, if I said anything, people would be really disappointed. That's how I feel about it. I think people will be disappointed. They don't want to be spoiled. They're surprised in whatever will happen. That's what was amazing about the first one. The actor later mentioned, it was difficult touching upon the wait for Wakanda forever without thinking about the impact Bozeman's death in 2020 from stage four colon cancer had. What can you say? He concluded. Legit, and I mean that in a real sense. What can you say? Watching him do the first one, knowing what I know, knowing what everyone now knows, you just look at him in a different stratosphere. As a character, as a human being, prior to Kaluuya's interview, returning Shuri actor Letitia Wright explained how Wakanda forever would pay homage to Bozeman, commenting that the movie is an incredible honor for Chadwick Bozeman and talking about how dedicated the cast and crew were to the saga that the, yeah, okay, yeah. Additionally, every K. Ross actor, Martin Freeman, delved into what it was like filming Wakanda forever without Bozeman, stating it was strange, that side of it. On the one hand, you're making a film that you're, here, that you're there to make, and there are scores and scores of people on set joined in this endeavor to make the film. But there's also no question that at the heart of it, there's quite a gap now, and you felt it. Despite this feeling, however, Freeman continued by remarking that working on the movie was fun. As for the movie itself, while the official synopsis has not yet been released, plot details for Wakanda Forever are supposedly shared online. Okay. Yeah, November 11th, blah, blah, blah. Hmm, okay. What we also didn't mention in that article or what wasn't in that article is he opted out of the movie altogether because of scheduling conflicts with his movie coming out. Uh, nope. He opted to do Nope versus Wakanda Forever. Why? Why do you think Daniel Kaluuya opted to do no instead of Wakanda forever? It's no mystery that Jordan Peele helmed movies have done well at the box office. Now, I don't have the numbers in front of me right here, but I do not think any of Jordan Peele's movies have did 1.3 billion at the box office. 
So if you were part of a $1.3 billion franchise, why would you walk away from it? I think Daniel knows what everybody at the recast T'Challa movement or everybody who's down with that recast T'Challa thing knows is what Daniel Kaluuya knows. It is an exercise in futility to attempt to make a movie without the titular character in it, regardless of who the actor was or is. You cannot make a movie about a titular character and not have that titular character in it. You've got the name Black Panther in the title. We know based on everything that's happening, based on the leaks, based on comic book canon, that Shuri becomes the new Black Panther. Or if you're comic book savvy, Shuri stands in for an injured Black Panther. Okay? Why, I ask you, why, again, would Daniel Kaluuya walk away from this franchise or opt not to be a part of the franchise? It could be speculated, oh, he knew his character was going to be in jail for treason. So, and, 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 and more than likely, his wife is going to leave him. Not much to get out of that. Maybe, maybe not. Or, bottom line, he got, he's getting off of the sinking ship before it starts sinking because he sees there's too much weight and that weight isn't going to be able to stay seaward. That's my thought about it. I mean, I, I would be, I, I don't know until, you know, everything comes out in the wash, as they say. Uh, I don't know why Daniel Kaluuya is not a part of, of, of Black Panther's Wakanda forever. I, I really don't. Uh, nobody knows that except, you know, Wakanda forever insiders and Daniel Kaluuya himself. And, and anything that anybody could say at this point is speculation until that man come forward and say, this is why I didn't want to be part of Wakanda forever because of scheduling conflicts. That That's the response respectful thing to say. You don't want to say, and I'm not saying this is how Daniel Kaluuya feels, but etiquette would say, you don't say because I see uh, what y'all doing with this movie isn't congruent with anything in Black Panther canon and you're shoehorning things into this movie that won't or don't fit and calling it Black Panther. It ain't, and it won't be as much as you want it to be. I can bake a cake and put chocolate frosting on it and call it a red velvet cake. I can put a sign over the top of it and call it red velvet cake. When people ask me, ooh, that cake look good. What kind of cake is it, chocolate? No is red velvet cake. And then they look at me. D, that is not red velvet cake. That's chocolate cake. I said what I said is red velvet cake. And then people go, okay, 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 okay. I don't want none of your chocolate red velvet cake. Can you be upset? Can you be mad? I mean, you could be, but why should you be? You the one that's calling chocolate cake red velvet and expecting everybody else to eat it. Maybe Daniel Kaluuya saw that your chocolate cake 
was not red velvet and decided not to eat. Do we all think Daniel Kaluuya was not a part of this movie for the same reason? If you do, drop it in the comments. Let me know what you're thinking, how you feeling. I will be coming at you with another one of the mother ones. And until I do, yo, y'all be good. Be good to each other. Hey, no T'Challa, no ticket, baby. <laughs>